Friday, it's the Mad Hatters, the Tom Petty Experience, and Freebird, a tribute to Leonard Skinner taking over the stage at the Imperial Theater. Tickets still on sale, uh, and I got the chance to speak with a couple members of the both bands earlier. Check this out. All right, it is Petty and Skinner. It's the Mad Hatters and Freebird, a tribute to Tom Petty and Leonard Skinner. It's going to be happening on September 22nd at 8 p.m. at the Imperial Theater. And we got guys from both bands here joining us via Zoom to talk about it. Uh, hi, guys. What's going on? How you doing? Well, hey, it's good to see you. Good morning. We got uh, morning, Dave morning. Turner from Mad Hatters here. We've got Wayne uh, Volkovich and also Chris with uh, Freebird. Thanks for you guys for joining us here this morning. Uh, can't wait to see you guys share the stage on this thing, but let's talk Mad Hatters first. How did the whole inception uh, for coming up with this petty tribute band uh, begin? Well, it was during COVID, and the other boys were trying to put one together for a while, and Fred, our guitar player, who's actually an Augusta native, uh, called me up and said, hey, we're working on this petty thing again. Why don't you put some... To watch some YouTube videos and see if you can measure up, and so I watched a bunch of YouTube videos that night and called them. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. I think I think we can handle it. So we got together and started practicing for about six months, once a week, for maybe eight, six eight months, and then we played our first show, and that was two years ago. So we've been playing ever since. And it's been nonstop, like you said, ever since. Uh, just some really cool stuff here, and, and also great music. But always, always curious. What's the determination in picking what songs you play when you're doing a tribute? Well, it's, um, there, you know, there's so many hits when you're playing Heartbreaker songs. So we got to do all the hits and then we do some of the deep cuts that are songs that we like. And, you know, songs that were not really big radio hits, but were still out there that a lot of the Petty fans like. And the Petty fans are, they're incredible. I mean, there's three generations of people we've met, and they're always singing and dancing. They have such a great time and just kind of, you know, honoring the memory of Tom Petty. And, you know, it kind of leads into this question. What do you think it, it is about the music from Tom Petty that so many people love? He's, um, he's an American icon, you know. Like, he, he grew up on stuff from the 50s and, you know, beyond that. And, you know, he just, he, he, he stuck with his guns. He went against the record labels and, you know, didn't let him charge more for the albums. And he always, you know, every decade he had something on the radio. And a lot of his later albums that aren't really that, you know, popular are some of my favorites, like Mojo and stuff like that. And uh, we've got Chris with Freebird, the uh, Skinner Tribute, also joining us here on the uh, Zoom as well. Uh, you, you're both experiences music from the Southeast with Tom Petty and with Leonard Skinner here. Um, just what's it like seeing the reaction when the audience people are, or when the audience are watching you on stage? When these two groups come together, Augusta, Georgia, look out. <laughs> if you're in the mood, good times, great people, and making awesome memories, we got you covered. Looking forward to doing it as well. Uh, so how did, how did the two of you guys, the bands, get together for this, for this tribute concert? Well, we, we've, we've all, we're, we're all uh, kind of Atlanta area people, and we've all uh, known each other for you know, decades now. We've all played in bands together. That's the beautiful thing about, uh, about all these bands. It's kind of a family affair at this point. Uh, so we've known each other for a long time. So it's, it's as much fun for us up on the stage just, you know, uh, friendship wise as it is for the audience. All right. Looking forward to it again. It's all going to be happening on the 22nd, 8 p.m. Uh, tickets are available at imperialtheater.com. Uh, Dave, Wayne, Chris, thank you guys so much for joining us here. We can't look and really looking forward to the show. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're looking to meet, forward to meeting you. Fly high, baby. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Run it. Fly high, baby. Fly high. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Get the